up YouTube, Antonalog here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a very nice vignette in Photoshop, Adobe CC, or CS6. So let's get started. Now I do want to apologize for any mistakes I will make doing this. I will make doing this video just like that one, and that's because I'm doing it live. And of course, everyone makes mistakes, so I apologize in advance for that. So let's get started. I've, as you can see here, you, um, I have made my vignette already. And once I take it out, this is the original photo, and I put it back in. This is the vignette. So I'm going to delete this layer and start over and show you guys how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is create another layer from down here, right here. And then use the elliptical marquee tool and create the part that you want the vignette to be around. So I want it to be right around here. I think that's a comfortable spot. Then you're going to go to refine edge right here. And you're going to feather it to about 200 or any kind of place that you think is comfortable. Now I think this fading is really nice and it's a very nice um, fade that will do very well. So you can output to selection right here and click OK. Once you're done, you're going to go to brightness and contrast right here. And then you're going to go here, and you can see that the white part is what we're selecting. But we want to select the outside and make it darker without affecting the inside. So once we press invert, you can see the white part is the part we're selecting now. And then we're going to go to brightness and decrease the brightness to create that vignette. So I'm going to put it to right about negative 83 right here, or a little lower, and that will be perfect. Once we're done, we can just exit out, and that was it. We created our vignette. So be sure to like this if you liked it, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And also check out AntonLin.500px.com for more photography like this. I will be posting this on there on my 500px um, portfolio, and I hope you guys see it and really like it, because I created this video to show you guys how to do it, and I think it really helped. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching.